Are you suddenly working from home? I've been working from home for years and I love it. But if it's new to you, it can be a little challenging. So I have some tips to keep you productive, organized, and on track, especially if you have more people in the house than usual. Hey babe, I think we should go to the store and try and get some toilet paper. Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany Burns, news anchor and reporter turned media coach. Working from home right now is so prevalent, its acronym is suddenly seeing a surge in popularity, WFH. The global health crisis, as we all know, is rapidly evolving every day. Suddenly, tons of people are now working from home. I love it. I've been doing it for years, but I can only imagine this is a challenging scenario for a lot of people. It sure was for me at the beginning. In fact, it still can be. So these tips I'm about to tell you, I still employ most of them myself every day. If you've ever said, oh, I could never work at home, I challenge you to let that thought pattern just dissolve. Make this work for you. Set your mindset to success and embrace the new normal. First things first, if this is all new to you, stick to your regular schedule, especially if your clients or your company and coworkers are expecting it. This means no sleeping in, just cause you're working from home now. To get in the right headspace, you might wanna wear your regular work clothes just to signify you're going to work. Now, since I've been working from home so long, this is one I don't really do every day, but I do get myself cleaned up and presentable each morning because you never know when you're gonna have to answer the door for a delivery or do an unexpected video conferencing call. And I actually do save the track pants and the comfy lounge wear for the end of the day when the work's all done, so I guess I do employ this tactic. If you've got a crowded house right now, communicate your routine to everyone so they know you're working hours and then get to work. Be accessible. Answer the phone and emails promptly, but don't forget to also take some breaks and eat your lunch. But don't eat all your isolation food supply in one go, as someone here may or may not have been doing. Next, schedule your day. I hear a lot of people say how they could never focus at home, but I think it's a place where you can be really efficient, especially if your regular office dynamic is one where there are a lot of interruptions. At the beginning of each day, write your list of goals for the day with your priority items up top. People talk about all these different apps that will help you stay on top of your goals, but frankly, I love me a good old fashioned whiteboard. Helps keep me honest with myself and see exactly where I'm at. If I'm in a different room, the whiteboard's not there, a simple notepad does the trick. When you've written that list, keep checking it over and over throughout the day to make sure you're getting things done, especially if you feel the urge to do a little web surfing or check out the latest scary headlines. Look at your to-dos instead. And enjoy the satisfaction each time you cross something off your list or physically erase it off your whiteboard. This is another reason I don't use apps on my phone or my computer because it just seems more real. Your accomplishment just seems more real when you physically tick it off the list. Next, have a designated work area. If you already have a dedicated home office, great, you are away to the races. But if you don't and you have a house full of kids suddenly or other family members or your partner who's also working from home, this can be a tough one. This isn't really the time to be working from that nook you carved out for yourself in the kitchen. My suggestion, close the door. If possible, shut the door on distractions, literally. Even though the general advice out there has always been, don't work from your bedroom, these are different times. Hey babe, you wanna play a board game? I say if you can set up a workstation in your bedroom, go for it in the short term because most bedrooms have a door and that means you can shut out distractions. Another idea that's simple but effective is hanging a do not disturb sign on your door or putting it at the front of your workstation because then when someone in your family comes up and has some kind of question while you're in the middle of working like can we go to the store and buy more toilet paper? Then you can point to the sign and hopefully not break your train of thought. 
if you normally work at an office, then hopefully this home office scenario is just temporary. But we all know that none of us really knows how long this temporary is gonna last. So if it lasts longer than a couple of weeks, you're gonna wanna start thinking about ergonomics. That means making sure that your head, neck, shoulders, back, arms, and wrists are all in a good position while you're working at your computer for hours on end. And you might even wanna think about a sit-stand desk. But for now, we're still just talking quick setup. What's gonna get you through this week? And the next. Now this next one might seem like a basic but Wi-Fi is really important right now. It might be worth making a call to your provider to make sure that your Wi-Fi is top level and on track because you're going to be using the heck out of it for the next little while especially with all the emailing and video conference calling you're doing. Not to mention your personal entertainment and research and news reading and everything else. I could go on all day about how important it is to be organized when you work from home, probably because uh, this is an area where I think I could do a little better. Anyhow, I'll let you in on a couple of basics that I do every day when working remotely with clients. Google Docs are a great way to share your work remotely with multiple people. They have their own version of Excel spreadsheet, they call it Sheets. They have their own version of uh, Microsoft Word, they call it Documents. And they also have a couple other things, presentation form and drawing. I haven't used those ones yet. And knowing Google, it's probably just the tip of the iceberg, but I really use the documents and the sheets all the time. And you don't really lose control, even though you're sharing them, you can set the privileges on them. Uh, one of the privileges you can give is to edit, or you can just set it to view. So the people who are also jumping in remotely, um, you are in control. Another thing I do often is I create folders on my desktop and in email. Now this is a time when you will be getting more communication than ever from your clients, from your coworkers, and from your company. You need to keep track of that stuff. After a while, those emails start to top, pile on top of each other and it's hard to keep track of those important nuggets of the conversation. I know right now I'm experiencing more client communication than ever as they try to stay on top of these changes that are happening it seems almost every minute so here's what i do it's really simple as soon as i get an email that has some important information in it you know there might be some chit chat or hey how you doing at the beginning but i copy the important stuff and i paste it to a document and i might have to keep those documents in a file on my desktop but um, i just get it in there right away so i can keep track instead of constantly going through my email and searching because sometimes you can spend 15 minutes or more looking for that valuable information. I use pages because I'm a Mac person, so that's what I use uh, instead of Word doc, but then of course most of my clients seem to be Word people, so I've got that going as well. And if it's something I'm sharing, I'll do Word. If it's just for me, pages. Also, it's starting to become more normal these days, but especially in these urgent times, a lot of my clients are communicating via text and that stuff can really get lost in a mile long text communication on your phone. So again, I write out the most important stuff into a document right away. Even though this idea of working from home can be new to so many people, I am hopeful that we are actually on the other side of the crazy reactionary moment to things changing and unbelievable headlines happening and businesses trying to adapt by the minute. Um, I know I've had time to wash my hair since the last video, so I, uh, I'm, I'm really hopeful that as we adapt to the new normal, we can all kind of take a breath, maybe remember to uh, drink a glass of water and try to eat healthy and resist those cookies that someone bought for the uh, self-isolation supply <laughs> and uh, just take a moment to take care of yourself and be healthy because we could be working from home for the long haul. So, uh, hey, I guess I should ask, uh, do you have any ideas that I didn't mention here about working from home? Please let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. 
In the meantime, please everyone, take care of yourselves, stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next video. If this is all new to you, woo, exciting. Google Docs are a great way to share your work with multiple people. Similar to Excel, they have their own spreadsheet called Sheets. They have their own documents called, I don't remember, 